class. Let's get started. Today we're talking about iTunes. Now suppose in my library I've got a song like this one that I want to play just a portion of this song. I don't want to play the whole thing. Here's how it works. You go through, and this is the fun part, you go through and listen and find, okay, I want it to start here and end here. I've already gone through for this song. I want to go from about 141 to about 156. So I'm on song now. I'm going to do a two finger click on a Mac or a right click on a PC and go to get info. Under get info, I'm going to click on options and here you can see the start time and the end time. Right now, it's playing the whole thing. I want to go starting at 141 and stopping at 150, oops, 156. Bink. When you're done, click OK. Now, when I play that song, it just plays that small portion. See up here at the top? It's only playing a little bit of it. Stop. Have a time. Oh, okay. So it doesn't it doesn't go as far as I want it to. So I'm gonna go back through now and go just a decimal here or there. Okay, now I've got my exact start time and end time. You can see here under get info that I've nudged my start time and end time just a little bit. I started with 141 and 156. I've added a little bit on each end so it's exactly where I want it. You can be as specific as you want with this. Now I've got iTunes playing just that portion of the song. I want to tell iTunes, copy just that portion into a totally new song. Here's how it works. I'm going to control click on the song again, or two finger click. I'm going to select create AAC version. Yours might say something besides AAC. It might say MP3 or some other type of a file. For more on that, click on the link in the description. I'm going to go create AAC version. And that little sound lets you know it's done. Now notice this. If you can't find it, click on song name right here. And it'll put them all in order. And it should be right around, probably below, the song you were just on. Notice here. I've got the same song. The original is 4 minutes and 17 seconds. My new one is only 15 seconds. So I've got a trimmed version. I'm the first thing I'm going to do is rename this. We're going to call it You Can't Touch This Short or Shortened or Trimmed or whatever. So I know the difference between the two. Before we go any further, you want to go back to that original song and take out the start time and end time from the shortened version so it's back to its original unaltered state. Control click or two finger click on the original song not the shortened one, right here, the original one. Bink. Go back to Get Info, click on Options, and then just uncheck those two buttons. So now it goes back to the whole song. Click OK, and you're good. If you want to know where that new song is, where its file location is, two finger click or control click on the new song and say Show in Finder. If you've got a Windows computer, it might say show in Windows Explorer here. That's it.